These noodles are so Moorish, they're just perfectly balanced with sweet, salty and savoury and a little bit of spice. It's a street food classic, Thai style drunken noodles. I'm Jeremy Pang and welcome to Simple Family Feasts. Based on my new book, Jeremy Pang's Simple Family Feasts, which is out in all good bookshops now. The first things first, we're gonna to start to set up my wok clock of ingredients. And that is starting at 12 o'clock with my first ingredient and going all the way around. Roughly chop your spring onion. It's quite rough and ready. So I'm actually gonna sear that into the oil. So almost flavor the oil. Red onion, probably only need half of this, nice and finely sliced. Garlic and chili. Now this dish is a proper like Thai street food dish. Nice and quick, rough and ready cooking. And so just a rough chop is all you need. I've got a large red chili here, which is gonna be nice for color, but I kind of want this a bit spicy because this dish is made for drinking. So I've got a bird eye chili here to add extra heat. And if you have had a beer or two, that will certainly get rid of your hangover, which is what these drunken noodles are there for. Whoa, that chili, that spice, that's what makes it really traditional. Now, if you're in Thailand or Asia, usually you'd have gai lan, which is a Chinese broccoli for this dish, but tender stem broccoli works a treat. Any type of broccoli really works. Just nice, fine slices. Next up, your chicken. Chicken thigh. Nice and succulent. Little sort of strings of fat. Just add a bit of flavor to the dish. This really is very simple. My what clock of ingredients is pretty much there. I'm gonna make up a quick stir fry sauce and this is how. A Couple of spoons of oyster sauce. Now, Thai food, of course, has all, you know, so many dishes with things like lemongrass and lime leaf and all those types of herbs. But also there's a heavy influence of sort of the Chinese community in Thailand who have been there for generations after generation. And so a lot of these sauces are the sort of more Chinese sauces. I've got some light soy sauce as well for saltiness. Fish sauce, and that's where the sort of fusion of Thai and Chinese flavors comes together. Not a lot though, only about a tablespoon of fish sauce, because otherwise it'll be really overpowering. And because of all that this saltiness in there, you just want to balance out that with a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Last but not least, a tablespoon of dark soy. And that'll just wrap around the noodles really well. Now your noodles, you could use the thicker, sort of more half fun, thick rice noodles. I've got thin rice noodles here, which also work a treat, kind of more pad thai noodle-esque. And you can either soak them in hot water for about six to eight minutes, or do what I've done here, which is soak them for about an hour in cold water, and that keeps them really nice and separate and not really cooked at all, allowing me to cook the stuff, the noodles, in the wok and let, let them soak in more water as they get into the stir fry. So they've lost their packet shape, but they're not sort of overly soaked, which means they're still nice and separate. Time to get walking. Starting at 12 o'clock with your wok clock, Spring onions and onions straight in. Push all that to the back. Make sure that oil is smoking hot and then your chili and garlic can go in. Do you see in Thailand people cooking this dish in a wok, but also sometimes this dish or other noodle dishes like pad thai, they might cook on a sort of big flat plate, almost like a, a brat pan on the streets too. You'll find that all different types of dishes that move from one culture to another, you know, there's different ways of cooking things, which I absolutely don't mind. I've got still plenty of oil in there, so I'm gonna 
Go straight in with my broccoli. And give that a good toss through. When your sauce goes in, that's gonna really cook and sort of everything quite quickly just from the steam that it produces. So a flash fry here or there is absolutely fine. Now I'm gonna add a bit of oil just before my chicken comes in. And you'll notice that I sliced my chicken really nice and thin so it'll cook quickly. Just make sure that oil is smoking hot before your chicken goes in. So that's really sizzling now. I'm gonna bring my veg over the top of my chicken so my chicken cooks through but the veg doesn't burn. And then once you're creating this amount of smoke, it's a good sign that you might wanna give it a stir through before you then press down into your chicken again. Whoa, now we're stir frying, look at that. Quite a lot of smoke here, give it a wok toss. That chicken's pretty much half cooked, so at this point, my noodles can come in. Tummy in the head, round and round, back and forwards. And a quick flick, and then back down on the heat. I wanna bring it up to a sizzle again, before I repeat that action. Sizzling hot, tummy in the head. Once your noodles start to soften, you'll see them wanting to stick to the bottom of the wok. At this point, your sauce wants to go in, but just make sure the wok is really nice and hot and that sizzling sound is still going before you pour it in. Remember that sauce has got sugar in it, it will start to caramelise quite quickly. Tummy in the head. Just going to take a little spoon of that soaking water into my noodles. Just to finish this off. Got this lovely smokiness to the dish. My wok clock plate has just had vegetables on it. So I can serve straight up. You cook that nicely, there should be barely anything stuck to the bottom of your wok. And then just to finish off, a whole heap of sweet Thai basil. This stuff is so fragrant. Even just from the heat, that steam coming off the noodles, I can smell it. My drunken noodles from the new book, Simple Family Feasts. It's got the perfect balance of sweet, salty, savory, with a little touch of that Thai basil at the end. Delicious. If you like this recipe, don't forget, it's in my new book, Simple Family Feast. And there's loads more recipes like this on the channel. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell. And we will see you soon.